Our final question for this week in the Wonderful Day in the Lord broadcast is this one. How do I guard my heart and mind while going to a non-Christian college? Well, that's a, a good question. I think the answer, however, is you guard your heart and mind at a non-Christian environment like a college, uh, the same way you do under any circumstance that you might be in. Philippians chapter 4 is perhaps the, uh, the most important passage, or at least one of them, on this subject. It says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So this is a general teaching that I think is applicable to all circumstances. That's, that's a cool thing about the Scripture. It doesn't just give us some detail that would might have been uh, definitive just for the first century or, or among a certain culture or group of people. But these principles are universal. They, they transcend cultures and times and uh, so helpful to us today, just as they were helpful then. If you want to guard your hearts and your minds, what should you do? Well, let me start with, with turning over these anxieties, fear perhaps, of the secular culture around us that could cause trouble for us. We, we turn those, from those anxieties, we turn to the Lord in prayer. We, we petition the Lord to guard us, to protect us, uh, to, to bring the right kind of people into our world, into our life to help us to discern biblically what's going on around us. And perhaps that'll also lead us into deeper study of the Word of God itself so that we know uh, what Scripture teaches and we know how to stand firm in the faith so that our hearts and our minds are guarded in Christ Jesus. The context of this passage moves on to verse 8. It says, Finally, brothers, whatever's true, whatever's dignified, whatever's right, whatever's pure, whatever's lovely, whatever's commendable, if there's anything excellent, if anything worthy of praise, consider these things. So, so it moves beyond prayer. That's where we start, turning from our fears to God in prayer, petitioning Him for what we need. He promises to guard our hearts and minds. But then He talks about our thought life. Are you thinking the thoughts of God? Uh, are you following these kind of things identified in verse 8? And you're only going to do that if you know what those are. And you're only going to know what those are if you know the Word of God. So going to a secular school or being in any secular environment uh, should be or could very well be a great catalyst to force us into a deeper understanding and study of the Word of God so that we live out the way He wants us to live. Sometimes we've been in a Christian bubble in much of our, our youth. Uh, we've been in a Christian home, a Christian church, and our faith has never been challenged. And therefore, we may have been pretty lax on digging into the Word of God. The secular environment may very well help us dig in and move forward to understand uh, more seriously what the Word of God teaches. Then he goes on to talk about our lifestyle. Don't be hypocrites here. The things which you've learned, received, and heard, and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. So put into practice that which you've learned, and that's what you're finding in Scripture, so that these become part of your lifestyle, your habitual lifestyle. On a very practical basis, uh, beyond what Scripture says here, I would encourage you to look for Christian friends. In every environment, whether it's the military or secular uh, Christian camp, or secular uh, Bible, uh, college campus, or uh, a work situation, or almost anything, there, are, there usually are going to be a, a few people, a pocket of, of Christians, that you can fellowship with, that you can be encouraged by, that you can minister to. Look for people like that that will encourage your heart and life and help you grow in Him. Also, especially if you've moved away from your home environment, find a good church. Don't just be content with some Bible study on campus, as good as that might be. Look for a church, a fellowship of, of people of all ages that will be a help to you. When I went to a secular college for two years, I, I was involved in Bible studies and, and several Christian friends on campus almost from the get-go. But I also found a nice little church, uh, and I was the only young person there, for the most part, that came to that church regularly. But those older saints fed me, strengthened me, and encouraged me and loved me. And I look back on that as, as being every bit as valuable as my peers on the campus itself. Don't hang out with bad influences either. If you find people that are dragging you away from the things of God, get away from that. 
Don't let that kind of person drag you down. Get around the influences of godly people and those who are teaching the Word of God. Those are some things that could help you. And I hope that gives you a wonderful uh, experience on a college campus or in, in military or whatever environment the Lord might take you.